Welcome back. I'm back with you guys. All right, so we're going to start in here. We are doing an evening in the life. This is the last day of school. It is a Thursday. We're getting it done. I'm going to show you our typical Monday through Friday routine. The kids get home around 315. They like to relax. They get their drinks and their snacks and enjoy a little bit. Normally about an hour and a half or so after school, we try to get all hands on deck, tidy up whatever has gotten left behind, whatever needs caught up so we don't get behind. Typically laundry. We all know this. I'm sure you know this. We have a family of seven. That just means lots of laundry and that's fine. We're starting out here. This is majority of my little boy's laundry left here. You'll see um, it was just a regular load of laundry, but I have already put away the older people's laundry. This is just my little boys, 10 year old Damien, eight year old Bryson, seven year old Lucas. Like, like I said, this is the last day of school. So I'm rot rotating their jeans and shorts. Their jeans are folded. You'll see stacked there. They're folded. They're going to get put in the bin for winter till winter fall time comes. I went ahead and pulled out their shorts and their t-shirts and their tank tops and all that and got them put out so they can go ahead and start putting those in the rotation for summer. All right, as I wrap up this laundry here, you will start to see I'm going to start putting things as they go, where they go, put the laundry baskets away and tidy up my room here. All right, now we've got them all hung up for the most part there and I'm gonna go ahead and start dishing them out. I just figured I'd give you a quick little turn of where we're at. So we are standing in my bedroom. This is my bedroom. It's a little messy you'll see we're going to get it tidied up but there's before shots there for you all right let's get these boys clothes put up heading into their room here we're going to go ahead and hang these up so once i have the laundry all put away and everything i went ahead and tidied up the room a little bit this basket is going to the bottom of our steps you'll see down there we line the two boss baskets. They set in the middle floor there. Everybody collects their dirty laundry in it. These, you'll see, boop, I just toss them. That's my 17 year old's room. He's in the middle of gaming. He'll get them when he opens his door, puts them away. Oh, I wanted to fill you guys in. We grew butterflies. We got five of them. We started with little caterpillars and they grew about three weeks. Uh, we released them a few days ago. We ended up with four, four of them made it and did great. So that was really cool. All right, you'll see here I'm putting the boxers away for the little guys. There's their bins. They each have a bin labeled with their initial. I also have a load, a laundry load right there you'll see in that bag. Um, that's for donations. A whole box of clothes they've outgrown. Oh, here's the satisfying shot, guys. I love to vacuum. So relaxing. The vacuum marks. It's everything. Look at that. Absolutely. all right all right so this is the dirty laundry we'll take that down you'll see i'm just sitting them in the middle of the steps there that means mom can't go downstairs until she takes the laundry baskets with her all right so here's the final shot this is my room all tidied up i'm sure to some it may not be clean but to me it is <laughs> it's my bedroom we do a lot in here it just is what it is so there it is it's complete i lit a candle and downstairs we go Downstairs, I'm gonna take these two baskets. Washer and dryer is downstairs. Here's some clothes, I better gather these. Kiddos, leave them everywhere. All right, so we're taking them on down. I have house slippers. Downstairs is all hardwood floors. I like to wear my house slippers downstairs. They're cute, little mama bear slippers. All right, to the washer and dryer. Whoop, nope, oh no. 
They leave messes for me everywhere. And here's the shoes. We'll tidy those up. Shoe pile in the living room. Run a quick vacuum down here really good. Pick up these dog toys. I swear, our dog. She's a pit bull. Her name's Freya. Sweetest thing ever. You see her pile of toys there. She's spoiled. Not a little bit, a lot. And she has a lot of toys and they are always everywhere. <clears throat> All right, so we're switching this laundry. Wash her into the dryer and we're gonna start a new load. And look what I found. Trash. Pocket trash from little boys' pockets. I imagine that's normally where it comes from. Anyways, we'll dispose of that and get this white load started. And then we're gonna move on in here and get these floors finished. We're gonna run a vacuum really quick and then off to the kitchen we go. How big is your love? Tell me how high is your patience? What can I be saying? I wanna catch the way. How big is your love? Tell me how high is your patience? All right, we're heading into the kitchen here to see what disaster awaits us. Yikes! Last day of school, I told you. There's the paperwork from the book bags. Not too terrible on the counters a little bit. The table, ugh, the boys. This is after school, like I said. They've already had their snacks and they're chilling and they're relaxing now. And it's time for mom to clean up this disaster of a mess of a kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put away these few groceries. I'm going to tidy up these counters. There's a bag there you'll see of just a couple odds and ends that I needed for a quick little grocery pickup at Food Lion. Getting this dishwasher started you see me load it and unload it there go ahead and get it going again i got this new little sign i absolutely love it clean and then dirty when it comes out so it helps my little ones know when dishes need to be emptied out of the dishwasher so i picked it up i think there was like 10 bucks on amazon super cheap it's really helpful actually So here I'm showing you some ground beef packets that I picked up. They're each a little over one pound, 93.7 I believe is what I bought, which is typically what I buy. I tried to get as lean as possible. So on this night, we are having tacos. Quick tacos. We're gonna have Spanish rice with it and lots of fruit. Um, you will always see in our house, with just about every lunch and dinner, there is always a large option of fresh and cleaned produce, fruits, vegetables, all of it. My kids love fruits and vegetables. If they're cleaned and ready, they will eat them. And I provide them at most lunch and dinners. If they don't want them, that's perfectly fine, but normally they do. This is just a really small little pickup that I needed to do. It was just a couple things we needed to complete the dinner that night. 
Um, some drink mixes that I like to keep rotated in my pantry. Just shelf storage drink mixes like Gatorade and Kool-Aid and stuff. You'll see here, I'm going to show you. And some crackers and things like that that I need to pick up. So I got a box of the Lance Toasted Cheese Crackers. I got two boxes, eight packs in each of the Ritz stacks. I really like these because they're in smaller bags, so they don't go stale. Um, peanut butter. I needed a big old thing of peanut butter. Have in the pantry. We was running a little low. We had the mixed one currently. Skittles. Drink mixes. This is 40 in each box. I think it's three or four different flavors. My kids like to do that to flavor their waters. I got some Country Time Lemonade. I got some Tang. And I got some Kool-Aid. These we do not have on a regular basis, but for the summer, I do like to have them in the pantry. It's very easy to add a couple scoops to a jug yeah. of water and it's done. All right, so I'm putting away their Skittles. I keep them in this little syllable container here. That way they can just grab them when they want. We have a ton of water. We go through a lot of water. So I went ahead and did that. Put that back in the pantry here and tidy up this pantry. These are the Starbucks Frappuccino drinks. I like to have these. I believe this was the mocha flavor. So I pulled them out because they need to be off the floor. Look, lovely kid miss. Smushed berry. Trash it goes. So back to the table and the Starbucks drinks. So the Starbucks drinks we're going to put in the refrigerator and we're going to clean up all this miscellaneous trash leftovers. Push up these chairs. Get this table cleaned up really good. You'll see here, they left me some lovely trash on my coffee bar. Put my syrups back. They like to use these to prop their phones up while they're eating their after school snacks. There's a little tidbit. So there I am putting away the small bags of chips. That was actually part of the groceries that I had picked up there that I didn't show you, but it was on the table and they had grabbed out a pack because that was part of their after school snack on this day. So we're getting those put away, put those all in the pantry and guess what? throw it away all right so i'm back over here and we're going to stir up this taco meat really good and get some seasoning in there make sure we're not burning anything i'm absolutely in love with this pot you'll see me there using i just got it off amazon a few weeks ago it's a really pretty eggshell blue but it is a cast iron enamel covered dutch oven um, it has a really nice lid it's super heavy i'm break a lot of breads in the oven in it oh it, it's great. I think it was like 47 bucks or something. Definitely worth the price, that's for sure. So we're going to go ahead and add some taco seasoning in here to my taco mix. I like to buy the big container from Costco. It just lasts so much longer, and we go through a good bit each time we use it anyways. There you'll see my little buddy Lucas poking in here. So he's doing an awful lot of running around, so you'll see him poke in here a lot. He's playing and running around and entertaining me. That's what he typically does. He's squirrely, we like to call it. All right, so I already added the taco season here to my taco mix. I'm adding the water. And there's my daughter, Miss Hannah. She's 14, poking in here. She's showing me the last day of school goodies that she got. So she's moving from 8th grade to ninth grade this year. How exciting. So it'll be her first year in high school next year. We're super excited. All right, so back to these daggone Starbucks drinks and my cute little buddy there. Keeping me busy talking. Wifey in the background. Putting these Starbucks drinks away and get this in the trash and let's get this dinner wrapped up and everything. So I'm going ahead and pulling out some yellow Spanish rice out of the pantry. And we're going to go ahead and get that in the rice cooker. It normally takes about 20-25 minutes in there. So we're going to go ahead and get that put in there. You'll see my oldest, who is 17, Mr. Jack, pop his head in here. He's waiting on dinner, seeing when it's ready, asking me. All right, so I'm using my Mrs. Myers here, and I'm going to go ahead and spray down all these counters and everything really good. Wipe it down, sanitize it, get ready for dinner. You'll see eventually here, I will get to that stack of papers over there to the right by the fridge. So you've seen him putting um, 
water bottles in that fridge a while ago it's the silver refrigerator we typically just keep our drinks and dairy over there and then snack quick convenience things in the freezer side and then the black refrigerator here you will see keeps uh, my eight-year-old's insulin it keeps fresh produce fruits vegetables um it keeps mere meats um stuff you know just pretty much anything else that i need for dinners and meals and whatnot um, like any other person, but we we normally like to have the silver refrigerator for drinks is the biggest thing. We, we go through a lot of drinks. We like cold drinks. So that's what we use it for. All right, so you'll see here, I'm wiping down this counter really good and getting it cleaned up. You'll see me here. I'm talking to people throughout this. That was Lucas handing me the paper towels. There he goes. Told you, Mr. Squirrely. He's always running around. You'll see me talking, but I'm normally talking to somebody and it's almost always Lucas. He's normally following me around when I'm in the kitchen and just carrying on a conversation and talking about, you know, Legos and superheroes and whatever. All right, I'm getting this dinner table finally wiped down. It's fully clear. I went ahead and took the tablecloth off and get this thing cleaned up really well. Sometimes we keep a tablecloth on there, sometimes we don't. Just a lot of times it helps contain kid mess. You know, they drip ketchup and syrup and everything. So I normally change that every other day, typically, and throw it in the washer and put a new one. All right, so there's my little buddy entertaining me again. We're going to get this taco meat stirred up really good. Yeah. That's leftovers from the night before that got left in the oven instead of put away. Yuck. So to the trash they go. Go ahead and put some cleaner. I love this Dawn Power Wash. You just spray it, let it sit for a couple minutes. Rinse is right off. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You'll see my little guy squirreling around down there on the floor. Watch the reflection on the stove. What is it that you do? These pans don't look the greatest, but they are the best pans. They don't stick. They just look rough, but they're clean. I store them in the um, oven. They're actually really, really big, so they, you cannot store them in any of my cabinets. If you stand them up, the cabinet will not shut. So I just store the, I have two of them, a medium size one and a large size, and I just store them in the oven. There's my squirrely guy, kicking around on the floor. All right, so here's our nice, nice fresh, 
clean counters. And there's that fruit I was talking to you about. You'll see here, I'll have a big old bowl of it cut up for dinner. That's what we do. So I got a fresh tablecloth on there. The table's all clean, floor's all clean. We're gonna circle back over here and I'm going to grab the vacuum and vacuum just quickly. There's the, the floor in the um, kitchen really wasn't bad. You know, just different little things, maybe crumbs, cut pieces of paper from crafting. We have a dog, so some dog care. But again, this is just my evening routine and this is what I do. So you'll see here, I'm gonna vacuum the kitchen up. I will vacuum the two little rugs that I keep in front of my stove and my refrigerator, or my uh, sink. And then I will go to the big area rug in front of the silver refrigerator, which is underneath my dinner table. Um, in the next couple of videos, you will see that that rug is actually gone now. We decided to go ahead and pull that up. Um, so I got it at Costco, I really love it. I actually bought two, one for inside in the dining room and one for our back deck, and I love them. But the wall on the back deck, a few weeks ago, we had a really bad um, rainstorm and it was so much mud. So the kids trampled it on the rug and I could not get it out for nothing. And these are supposed to be washable. They're braided though, so it, you know, it didn't matter. They, they were intertwined in the rug. So we ended up tossing that out and we went ahead and put the dining room one on our back deck and we just have no rug in the dining room right now. Here's the taco meat, it's done, looking yummy. Here's those fruits and vegetables. Cut them up for everybody. They love cucumbers, particularly Bryson. So we're cutting up cucumbers, oranges, and apples on this particular night. You'll see here I'm cutting up this cucumber. We normally buy English cucumbers. For some reason, which was weird, um, Walmart had substituted my last cucumber. I normally only buy one at a time just because they really don't stay very firm in the refrigerator very long, at least not for us. Um, so I normally try to just get one or two at a time, uh, but like I'm saying here, um, they substituted a regular cucumber for English cucumber. We prefer English cucumbers. We eat the skin, the seeds, we eat all of it. So in the English cucumber, there's really not much seeds and the skin is so much different. Um, and we just find they're just better. They taste better. They look better. There's never any soft spots. Um, so that just works best for us. And then these are just regular old apples and just basic oranges. And then I'm going to go ahead and get that in a bowl for you here and you'll see all the lovely fruit. I just love how fresh fruit and produce looks and it's just so tasty. Here's all the yummy fruit. My camera's struggling to focus here, but you'll see it here. It's just beautiful. It's vibrant, it's bright, and it's just fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and make plates here. Um, we are using paper plates this night. Don't worry, they're not coated, they're not styrofoam, they're compostable. All good over here, I try to pay attention to that. Um, we typically make the three little boys as plates and then everybody is, you know, past that 14 and up, they know how to make their own plates. So you'll only see the little boys as plates here. Don't worry, everybody eats, but like I said, they're older, we're older, they like to make their own. So I let them do the thing. Um, so we have taco sauce, hot sauce, baja sauce, soft shells, hard shells, the nacho cheese, sour cream, nacho cheese Doritos to make Doritos and shredded cheddar cheese. So the wifey is here. She's gonna help me plate up all these plates for everybody. You'll see the wifey here. She's talking to Lucas. She's trying to ask him if he wants nacho cheese and or a soft taco. He was a little bit confused that night. He wasn't quite understanding what we were talking about. So I ended up making him nachos and she ended up making him a soft taco. I was confused as to which he wanted and she was confused as to which he wanted. So we were cracking up there because we were both just, you know, giggling at each other basically. We were lost. So here I am plating up his nachos. And there's Lucas's plate. And then here is what everybody's 
plate will look like. They all ended up deciding that they wanted nachos. So nobody got soft shells that night. It was all nachos and fruit and then rice. So you don't see the rice on their plate. Well, that's because I got sidetracked and was like, what, what am I doing? So I forgot to put rice on their plate. You'll see here though, I ended up putting rice and it looks absolutely delicious. Okay, so here you'll see I make lists. I always have normally about three lists running. I like to have one for the week. I like to have one for the month and I like to have one for the day. So that's what I was just showing you here. This is just what I work on. We have to give Bryce and his insulin before dinner. So we're doing that and then we do vitamins and then after dinner, clean up. All right, so you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and start getting these dishes tidied up and get everything put away, put the rice cooker back, get this taco meat put up. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of music here for you as we get this kitchen done. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are at lives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama. And trying to be tough all the day time You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell but now I'm strong I'm ready for the rematch Looking at me so cold Get over yourself, are you for real? Mm -hmm. Why well, are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies mm -hmm. You try to make yourself feel better By taking me down Once I fell, but now I'm strong I'm ready for the rematch Siobhan back here. So I've almost got these dishes just about done here. I just wanted to touch base with you guys here and, and to see if you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, give it a like. It really helps my channel. Please consider subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It really helps grow my channel. It helps get my name out there. It helps you to push my videos to get more like-minded people to see my videos like you. So we're just getting the laundry wrapped up for the evening and this will be the last load of laundry that I end up doing this evening. Getting a new washer load started here. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a full overview of our clean kitchen. After dinner madness, it's beautiful again every evening it gets a little dicey sometimes and this wasn't even that bad i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i just want to feel alive still have to run the trash out my oldest son will get that here in just a little bit but here's the overall beautiful clean back to normal kitchen look at my little flower up there just blossoming great thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time bye